What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Battle Spot Live. This is episode number 54, I believe. And uh, coming into today, we are sitting at a record of 96 and 22, I want to say, on the series. Uh, and as you can see, before we get into anything with the new team and some of the new rules that are on Battle Spot now, um, I have created a way so that we can see the base cam and the lower screen because uh, since I included face cam a few videos ago, reading through the comments, the most common complaint or suggestion or whatever you want to call it was not that, oh my god, I hate face cam. It was that face cam's okay or I don't really care either way or I like it, but I don't know if I really want to sacrifice the lower screen um, just to see your face. Um, no offense. That was in most of the comments too. Yeah, you always have to say no offense. No offense taken. I mean, I wouldn't want to look at myself, um, but yeah. So we have all of that figured out. Hopefully this kind of appeases everybody because before I added face cam for over a year, people were like, when are you going to add face cam? We should really do that. It really help the channel. And I would think it'd be really great. And can you please do it? So I finally do it. And then almost every comment is, well, why did you get rid of the lower screen? It would be really better if you just had the lower screen and whatever. So now. <laughs> Now I have everything um, on the screen at once, and hopefully that is what you guys, uh, most of you, you know, that'll work for you, basically. Uh, so I don't want to talk too much about that. I also fixed the face cam, kind of. Um, you probably can tell a difference. It might be lighting. Part of that is that it's daylight outside still, which is weird that I'm recording. But, uh, yeah, it was like, it was kind of angled at a weird, it was like that, kind of, and I was like over here. So it's like, it's more straight on now. Um, I don't know if that helps at all. Kind of like slouching in this chair, but yeah. B bottom line, I'm still experimenting. Can't talk. I'm still experimenting with it, trying to figure it out. It's going to take a while before I get it exactly how I would like it uh, with the best angle and quality and all that stuff. I can probably even move it a little bit closer. Being super unprofessional right now. I even have, I have some coffee here. So we're going to have a five minute intro while I drink this coffee. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. So all that out of the way, we're not going to talk about that again. Um, let's go over, what should I go over first? I guess we can talk about the fact that Battle Spot has a new season now. It started on September 15th, which was like two or three days ago. And basically the blue Pentagon rule is no longer a rule. Uh, except for in the special battles, I believe. Uh, and the blue pentagon, for those of you that don't know, just means that the Pokemon has to be uh, bred in a 6th gen game. So if the Pokemon does not have that pentagon, it means it's been transferred from a prior generation, usually 5th. Um, so those are now legal, and I broke out a couple of Pokemon that I had that were 5th gen just to uh, try it out. And it apparently works because my team is up on the screen here. So that is uh, something new that we're going to be seeing with Battle Spots. Um, and so let's go over the team here. Finally, finally, let's go over the team. We have an Assault Vest Metagross, uh, obviously four attacks. I think it has uh, Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, and maybe Earthquake. Uh, then we have a Physically Defensive Quagsire, uh, unaware, of course, with a Rocky Helmet over the leftovers. Uh, Rocky Helmet is super, super useful on battle spot especially because of Kangaskhan at least you want to be able to get some extra damage off on it um, because the lefties most of the time are not going to help you survive a hit anyway uh, and you're just not on the field for that long I mean it's 3v3 just battles go by a lot faster so yeah Rocky Helmet it is uh, then I have a Mega Aerodactyl which is going to be a home claw set with Roost and uh, Edgequake so Stone Edge and Earthquake not max speed it's got some HP investment uh, then we have Choice Scarf Nidoking, which is something I haven't used in a while. I normally like to go for the Life Orb variant, but I decided to go with something a little bit different. Uh, then we have a Ludicolo, which is a Pokemon I don't know if I've ever used in 6th Gen, to be honest. I can't remember if I used it. Um, but it's a Rain Dance set with Life Orb. It's got uh, Hydro Pump, I believe, uh, Ice Beam, and Giga Drain as attacks. And then last but not least, we have Macy, the Riolu, making a comeback. <laughs> Uh, this is probably the most fun Pokemon on this team. It is a Focus Sash set, 
and it just spams reversal basically and just kills usually at least one thing um, because once it gets down to one HP you've got stab with the reversal plus like 200 base power or whatever it is and it just kills most things uh, only downside is it can't get around Mega Kangaskhan so um, we're gonna hit the challenge button now I've talked for way too long and because of that I think I'm going to put in the um, comment section or the description one or the other where you guys can skip to the battle because that was way too, way way too long um, that intro had to be six minutes or something like that I don't really know I do not know but uh, we have a pretty standard looking team here Hallucha is something you don't see too often um, I see the Kangaskhan Slowbro so I'm guessing that's not gonna be Mega Slowbro got the cloister that's probably gonna be shell smash um, the superior is gonna be leaf storm shenanigans and then talon flame does what talon flame always does just spam brave bird um, don't really have an answer to that I mean I guess I have quagsire but quagsire can't always take it out because this quagsire does not have toxic I probably should give it toxic I actually gave it encore instead uh, and it requires some prediction to work obviously but let's see what I want to lead off with. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm very tempted to lead off with Nidoking because I think he can hit everything except for the Kangaskhan for super effective damage. So that is super tempting. All right, we're going to lead off with the Nidoking. And I've got my 3DS down here, by the way. That's why I'm looking down. But I guess you guys already knew that. I figured I would say I'm not just uh, staring at my like shorts or anything. Or maybe I am. You never know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Nidoking. King. A lot of physical attackers. But that superior is the problem. Um, Quagsire just feels like it should be... It'll be very useful. So I'm going to bring Quagsire. We have the Nidoking. Nidoking. Not Nidoking. That's not a word. Um, what? What else am I going to bring here? Uh... I don't have anything to handle that superior, so I'm going to have to bring... Uh, well, Aerodactyl doesn't even have a flying-type move. Hmm. I guess it would be Metagross. Metagross it is. Alright. That is the plan. Um, and we're going to have to rely on Quagsire, basically, to be able to handle the Kangaskhan. We really don't have um, much of a choice. And if he has Mega Slowbro... Then we just lose. We just lose because Thunderbolt is not going to be doing enough. Uh, he's going to lead off with the Talon Flame here, actually. I don't know if that's going to be able to kill me with a uh, Brave Bird. I don't know. If he's Choice Band, that very well could. Um, I believe my best bet here is to just go into Quagsire. The worst he's going to do is Will O Wisp. And that's really not the end of the world. He could U-turn, predicting me to want to switch into Quagsire. I'm just going to go straight into Quagsire. So that is the plan. My cord is all tangled. All of my cords are tangled. What is this? This nonsense. I need to get more coffee. I love my coffee. I do. Ah, it's so good. So good. I really need to drink more water today is what I need to do. Have a... Uh, cardio workout coming up and I need to be hydrated and you know coffee just dehydrates you makes you go pee a lot I don't know why I'm talking about this why am I talking about coffee and peeing this is battle spot live not peeing spot live please make a move so I can stop talking <laughs> all right so he's gonna stay in obviously um, and he's gonna go straight for the brave bird so I, I think I made the right play there this is not going to do over half, I don't think, and he's going to take the recoil plus the Rocky Helmet. That might be um, Choice Banded. Could very well be Choice Banded, and this is perfect for me because I can just recover off that damage while he switches. Um, so this is great. We do lose some momentum here, but we can bring Quagsire back in. Uh, oh, he's going to actually go for the Sword Stance. He's forgetting that Quagsire is... Uh, unaware and he just he does not care about your your dancing swords he does not care he's unfazed he's unfazed um i'm gonna encore him into whatever he wants to go for here 
He's going to go for Brave Bird, so at least now he cannot set up further. Um, I thought he might try to set up again, honestly. And, yeah, it does just about the same amount of damage, if not a little bit less. And this Talonflame is pretty much useless at this point. He's Encored into the Brave Bird, so I have no reason to go for an attack here. I can just go for Recover again and get back up to full HP. He's going to let his Talonflame go down here, so this is perfect. Um... He's also going to get a safe switch, so I don't know, um, I don't know what it's going to be into, but we're going to find out. Down goes the shiny Talonflame. I really like the, the shiny Talonflame. I have to get one of my own, but I just don't feel like breeding it. I don't. I have so many other breeding projects, and I have several Talonflames already that it would just be a waste to uh, waste all that extra time, you know, breeding stuff. Uh, he's going to go out into Sir Pier. This is not good. He gets a free switch into that, and now he's going to get a free plus two no matter what I do. Um, I can go right into Nidoking afterwards. Um, actually, I can go into Metagross here. The only reason I brought Metagross was basically to handle the Superior, uh, because it is a Salt Fest. So, a combination of Meteor Mash and Bullet Punch, I don't know if that'll kill. But I don't see any reason to uh, sacrifice Quagsire here, actually. So, let's do that. It could have HP Fire at plus 2. Like, Leaf Storm plus a plus 2 HP Fire. I don't know if that'll kill. I really don't. Um, he is going to go for the Leaf Storm. We avoid the attack, which is really unfortunate for my opponent. That sucks, because it's a 90% accuracy move. He really needed that plus 2. Um, please don't have Slowbro as your last Pokemon. Uh, let's see. I will go for the Meteor Mash. That is my most powerful attack. And he is just going to stay in and go for the Leaf Storm here. And that does 30 HP. That's a 3-0. 3-0. Thankfully, we do hit on our Meteor Mash. And he has a Rocky Helmet. Okay, then. I can honestly say I was not expecting that. So it's a more defensive variant. Um, does Meteor Mash have the same accuracy as Zen Headbutt? I think it does. I think they're both 90. Uh, let's double check on that. So I want to use whatever's the most accurate attack here, besides Earthquake. Yeah, that's 90. 90. Okay, so Meteor Mash is a little bit more powerful, obviously, and we do have the chance to get that attack raise. So I don't think Bullet Punch is going to kill from there. Mmm. No, it's not worth it not killing and taking extra damage. So, he's going to go for the Leech Seed, actually. That is an interesting play. But, I mean, he's defensive. He has the Rocky Helmet, so that makes sense. We do hit on the second Meteor Mash, which is fantastic. So, Superior is going to go down. We do get the Attack Raise, too. Oh, my gosh. The Hax Gods are kind of on our side right now. And by kind of, I mean they are on our side right now. The only thing that could have gone better would be, like, getting two Attack Races or him missing the Leech Seed. He has Kangaskhan coming out next. And, hmm, we should be okay here. We should be okay. I've got Quagsire and somewhat of a decent amount of health. Uh, he's going to have to get up to, like, plus two at least to be able to kill me with a Sucker Punch. And because I'm Scarf, Nidoking will outspeed. I think we're going to win this one, but I'm not positive. Um, now, this thing will outspeed me and go for an Earthquake, I would think. Hope he doesn't go for Sucker Punch. That would really sting. So I guess I'm going to Bullet Punch here. We'll see if he wants to go for Leech Seed or not. And he's got an all shiny team. I realize that. Shinies are everywhere. I don't know how I feel about the uh, shiny Kangaskhan, though. It's kind of like, it's too much, too much neutral-ish. Um, and that Bullet Punch does an okay amount of damage. He's going to go for the Power Up Punch. That's not going to kill. But he is going to get up to... I should have gone for a Meteor Mash. I really should have. Because he's going to get the Leech Seed, and now he can kill me with a Sucker Punch. He's going to get more health back. Uh, I'm still going to go for Bullet Punch here. We'll see what he has. Do you have the Sucker Punch? And if you have it, are you going to go for it? Or are you not? Are you too chicken to go for the, the Sucker Punch there, Kangaskhan? Shiny Kangaskhan? Why is the baby purple? I just realized that. <laughs> Why is the baby purple and the mom is white as can be? That's suspicious. That is very suspicious. So he is thinking about his move here. We'll see what he goes with. 
I have to. He's got to go for Sucker Punch. You don't want to take that extra damage. There's no reason for that, because you're not going to get any Leech Seed recovery this turn, unless you just don't attack me. But he probably has four attacking moves. Power Up Punch, some kind of Stab, Earthquake, and then something else. Uh, could be like Ice Punch, maybe, for Dragons. I really don't know. I do not know. He's taking his time, though. I'm actually very surprised that he has not forfeited, because his plus two means nothing with Quagsire on the field. It means absolutely nothing. Um, he's not going to go for the Sucker Punch, so he might just not have it. And we're going to get him down below half. He's going to go for Power Up Punches again. Uh, he's only going to get the one boost, though, so that's great. That is fantastic. Now, um, a Sludge Wave will definitely kill him from there. He did not go for Sucker Punch, so I don't know if he was just trying to get up to plus three in case I do have that. Uh, there's really no harm in trying. I'll just go out into Nidoking, King, and uh, we can hopefully end it. Otherwise, I will go into Quagsire, and that is the backup plan. He's going to have to take extra damage. He's not going to be able to kill me, because unaware is amazing. So, yeah, Sludge Wave it is. Sludge Wave it is. I am modest. I do not foresee this Kangaskhan surviving this attack. I just don't see it happening. Do not see it happening. Um, I would guess that he would just click Earthquake here. I mean, if he has a Sucker Punch, I guess he can go for it. But he didn't go for it against Metagross. Which kind of surprised me. Because he could have avoided taking a lot of damage if he just Sucker Punched me. Because there's no way I was going to live that. Uh, regardless of his boost, I think he was just going to kill me. But we shall see. We shall see. I have a lot of like stuff in my drawer thing back there. There's like a random Luigi hat and uh, some laundry that I need to put away. You guys can see, can you see it? Yeah, my Phillies banner is up. I actually got my, uh, we're going first by the way. This is a dead Kangaskhan. Yep, all right, so we're gonna get a victory. It's gonna bring us up to 97 and 22 on the series. As I was saying, um, for my birthday, I got an Eagles and a Flyers one from the girlfriend. So uh, shout out to her for being amazing. I gotta put them up. They're just chilling in the closet. So eventually, I'll have my all of my hometown teams up there, except for the Sixers. But uh, we all know that there's nothing to be proud of when it comes to the Sixers, for any of you that may follow American basketball. There was a time when the Sixers were fun to watch. That time is not now. All right, so let's get into another battle. I think we're only going to do two today because combined with the long opening, that battle took forever. Uh, at least it feels like it did. Um, yeah, we're just going to stick with two battles. Uh, we'll probably do three battles next time because the intro will be shorter and it'll just be a good time. It'll just be a good time. So let's see what we run into here. Uh, we have somebody from Japan, from Tokyo. He says, let's battle. All right, I take you up on that offer. Ah... Uh, Cresselia. Mmm. Freaking hate Cresselia. Probably, it might just be my least favorite Pokemon of all time. It's very, very possible. Uh, I have nothing to handle Cresselia. Zero. Like, he just brings Cresselia and wins. I didn't even think about that when I was constructing this team. I was thinking about Kangaskhan and Talonflame and Garchomp. And, yeah. <laughs> nothing for Cresselia. I've got nothing to hit it super effectively. Um, my physical attackers will get worn down by Rocky Helmet and paralyzed, and it's just not going to be a good time. So if he brings it, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, I mean, I could set up with Aerodactyl, but even at plus one, I don't think uh, Stone Edge will kill. Which is sad, but true. I mean, I could bring Ludicolo. Hmm. Set up the rain and start killing things. That's That sounds promising, but he's got a Talonflame. And as soon as Talonflame hits the field, you know, stuff is, stuff is not going to be pretty. This is looking like a loss already. Like, <laughs> this is not looking good. Um, hmm. Nidoking could be very, very useful to uh, take on the Gengar and the Metagross. I think I'm going to bring Ludicolo, we're going to bring Quagsire because otherwise I have nothing to handle that Talonflame. And I'm going to bring the Nidoking. 
Um, if he brings Cresselia, my only chance is Ludicolo, basically, uh, to get the rain up and 2 it KO it with Hydro Pump. If that even 2 it KOs, I don't even know. If it's like especially defensive, it might not. Which is really freaking sad, but Lud not Ludicolo. Um, Cresselia is just the fattest, most disgusting piece of garbage in the game, basically. Um, we have Talonflame here. This is like the worst possible matchup. I have to go into Quagsire. I have no other play. If he wants the U-turn, that would be a good play on his part. Can't really do anything about it. I have to make the safe choice here. Can't be trying to predict uh, because that's just not going to work out too well. He is just going to go straight for the Brave Bird, hoping that I do not have the Quagsire. And I should be able to recover off this damage as he switches. That does over half. That's Choice Band if I've ever seen it. Wow, I did not think that was going to do half. Most of the time it doesn't. That has to be the very tippy top of the damage roll. That is really unfortunate. Actually, that may just win in the game. Well, in this case, uh, leftovers would have been great. Wow, okay. Um, I have to recover here. He's just gonna click Brave Bird again. There's really nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna have to hope that Nidoking can survive a hit. Wow, that really, really stinks. I think that's the game, like that fast. This talent plane just plowed through our entire team. Quagsire, you're supposed to take hits better than that. And he gets the damage roll to take me out again. Um, I don't know what to say there. That really is unfortunate. So he's he's not going to be able to take out both my Pokemon because the recoil is going to kill him. So the question is, do I want to go with Nidoking or do I want to go with Ludicolo? Chances are Ludicolo might be able to win me the game depending on what he brings. Nidoking, I have to lock myself into a move. And I don't know... Like, it would probably have to be Earth Power. And if he has Cresselia, I'm just I'm screwed. Um, and if he has Cresselia at all, my only chance is going to be Little Cole. So, we need to go with Nidoking and just sacrifice it. As much as I don't want to do that because it will one-shot Gengar, um, there's really not much I can do. Uh, I have to click Sludge Wave here. Do I? Do I, or do I click something else? What would he go into? Possibly the Metagross? I mean, that's really risky. Maybe he's just thinking I will not go for... No, there's no way. He's just going to attack. Not going to play those games. He's just going to click Brave Bird. He has no reason not to. He's got two Pokemon left. If he can kill uh, my Middle King here, that's great. And he does. Man... Choice Banded Talonflame is more powerful than you would think, and thankfully, I think he just barely goes down to the recoil there. So we're going to have to rely on the all-powerful Ludicolo to bring it back for us. We need to channel our inner Myra B, the power of Ludicolo. Can he bring it back as we have Metagross coming out here? At least this can't hit us super effectively. The problem I have is I can't go for Giga Drain, and I don't know that Hydro Pump will kill in one hit. Um, Alright, only play is the Rain Dance. We're going to have to take a Zen Headbutt here. Actually, that might kill us in one hit, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, oh no, we outspeed. Okay, so he's running maybe Adamant, possibly? Hmm. Um, or it was a speed tie, and he's going to go for the Zen Headbutt, and that just kills us in one hit. Wow. I thought Ludicolo might be able to take one of those, but uh, Mega Metagross is just way too powerful. So that is going to be a loss for us. Man, I, I really don't think we were going to be able to bring that back either way. Uh, I really need to check the calc on that Talonflame to Quagsire. I really thought Quagsire would be able to take on all Talonflame variants. Uh, and absorb at least two Brave Birds and be able to get the Rocky Helmet recoil off and recover off the damage while they either switch or die. But uh, that's the first time that's ever happened. So maybe I just haven't gone up against uh, Choice Band. Um, and maybe maybe when I made that Quagsire, I count it wrong? I could have sworn I've used this Quagsire before, though. I, don't know, I really don't want to have to breed another Quagsire. I really do not. Well, I do have another one. But anyway, all right, we're going to call it quits. I know it's only two battles. Um, our record, I think, is, what, 97 and 22? 
something like that could be off I'm always off but <laughs> at least one um, but we will try to get three battles in next time we'll see how that goes um, but I just did like a ridiculous amount of talking at the beginning of this so apologize for that hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you'd like to do all of those sub uh, supportive comments and likes and whatever else that you guys do uh, to show your support you guys do a lot of different things uh, they all help you guys are amazing really appreciate um, all the positive feedback all the suggestions you guys have been giving and I uh, hope you guys can see that I'm trying to follow your suggestions and uh, we'll just continue to improve and have some fun playing some Pokemon so until next time game on